Hi everyone, today we are going to start with the new topic that is of uh, related to business studies of class 12th uh, by Sir uh, Dr. R. K. Singla. So the first chapter that we are going to discuss is the management. So the first chapter that is management and introduction. In this we are going to uh, learn about the management concepts, definition of management characteristics of management that means nature of management features also and the objectives of management what are the objectives of management we are going to read in this chapter and the importance of management so these topics we are going to cover in this chapter hope you like it so as per the index first we are going to start with the meaning of the management so let me read according to the fw taylor According to F. W. Taylor, management is the art of knowing what you want to do and then seeing that they do it in the best and the cheapest way. Matlab, management is a process, a art, a color, which you can see what you have to do and what you have to do and what you have to do and what पहले तो आप डिसाइड करते हैं क्या करना है सेकेंडली उसके बाद आप डिसाइड करते हैं कि उसे किस तरीके से किस बेस्ट वे से किया जा सकता है सो so दैट हमारी कॉस्ट सबसे कम आए सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट गिवन बाय एफ डब्ल्यू टेलर नाउ आफ्टर द मीनिंग वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट मींस फीचर्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट फीचर इज मैनेजमेंट इज अ गोल ओरिएंटेड प्रोसेस which means uh, management is basically related to uh, the objective that any organization set up before the startup. Kisi bhi organization, kisi bhi uh, company ko start up karne se pehle uska ek objective hota hai. Management aapko usme eh, us objective ko achieve karne mein help karta hai by uh, uh, giving the knowledge on the basis of knowledge and experience of future events and plans aapko wo pehle se batate hai ki aapko coming time mein ye achieve karna hai ye achieve karna that is called management is goal oriented process management is all persuasive means management is uh, required in every part that is business or non business it is required in all the parts business or non business areas like if we are start up any business we are we have to manage our objectives first then we have to go for how to achieve that but whatever the non business organizations are like uh, daily jobs that we are going to do we have to manage how to wake up early in the morning how to go to school when we have to reach the school at the proper time so that is all management is all persuasive it means it's applicable in business and non business areas then management is multi dimensional multi dimensional means it has number of dimensions first is management of work hame different areas mein different uh, work ko manage karna hota hai like uh, uh, at what time we have to go to school at what we have to uh, at what time we have to meet the doctor at what time we have to go for our self study and that is all the management of work after that management of people that is the blunder these uh, days people management of people is very important for any organization to run a successful business so um, we have to uh, decide how many people we have to assign for the third dimension is management of operations any type of organization for its survival has to produce and to provide services किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को अपने सर्वाइवल के लिए अपने एग्जिस्टेंस के लिए कोई भी सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करने हैं या फिर प्रोडक्ट्स प्रोवाइड करने हैं जिसके लिए आपको एक प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस को फॉलो करना होता है वेयर फिनिश गुड्स आर प्रिपेयर्ड विद द यूज ऑफ द रॉ मटेरियल एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आप मशीन्स की हेल्प से रॉ मटेरियल प्लस आपका गुड्स को फिनिश करते फिनिश रॉ मटेरियल की हेल्प से आप फिनिश गुड्स को विद द हेल्प ऑफ मशीन्स प्रोड्यूस करते हैं बट जहाँ पे आपको पीपल प्लस वर्क दोनों को मैनेज करना होता है सो मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ऑपरेशन इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पीपल एज वेल एज वर्क नेक्स्ट इज मैनेजमेंट इज अ कॉन्टीन्यूस प्रोसेस इट मीन्स नेवर एंडिंग प्रोसेस 
uh, we can't say that our uh, one task is complete and we have done with the management no after that next task is there after that the th uh, next task is there so it's a continuous process मैनेजमेंट इज नॉट अ प्रोसेस विच कैन बी परफॉर्म वंस फॉर ऑल मतलब एक बार में ही नहीं सबके लिए डन हो जाता बट इट इज अ कॉन्टिन्यूस प्रोसेस ये तो एक लगातार चलने वाला प्रोसेस है जॉब ऑफ मैनेजर जैसे कि हम मैनेजर की जॉब की बात करें उसे प्लानिंग करना है ऑर्गेनाइजिंग करना है स्टाफिंग करना है डायरेक्ट करना है कंट्रोल करना है नीड टू बी डन है ना कॉन्टिन्यूसली करना है उसे इट्स नॉट लाइक वन डे प्रोसेस that one time manager told you the task and you are uh, going with the same task uh, either you are completing not completing manager will not supervise you no he or she will direct you uh, control you and guide you properly so it is a never ending process management is a group efforts obviously any any business that you started with is not a one man business you know if you are running a company and an organization at the time you have to manage people that number of people so that is what a group of people that is running for the success of the particular company and that are working for the achievement of a particular task then management is a dynamic function dynamic means it's not static to one task and one objective or it's on not only based on one principle of management no you have to carry the number of principle if if you face any problem in during your pathway to achieve a uh, target so at that time you have a quick uh, take a quick decision so that you can achieve your task without any hurdle so it's all done with the characteristics of management i hope you like it bye bye